Hi guys, welcome to this video about the i360 webcam. It has different brand names, uh, but it's a very common uh, webcam. So I'm showing it to you. It's one of the cheapest, quite reliable webcams which you can control. Uh, so it's a, a really good deal but the problem is a lot of people have problems connecting to the camera and then showing now again how this works so i have here a usb battery so i'm plugged it in it <laughs> plug it in so it's a little bit difficult with one hand still trying okay so and I press this reset button here of course I just have to set start power so uh, here we have the reset button I press it for some time and then it should it, uh, I hope it has reset. We have to wait a little bit what it does. Yeah, I think System startup completed. Wi-Fi connecting. Hmm, okay. So I start here pushing once again and then it should start with the um, AP Wi-Fi AP setting maybe yeah okay uh, I didn't reset it so I have to press longer here at the reset button let's press yeah okay now it goes back to the uh, manufacturing settings so that's good so far and we can go then to the app no we don't go to the app right now we wait a little bit okay waiting for Wi-Fi configuration so I press once again but short to this button and then it point yeah then it says access point establishing again um, yeah exactly so we go to the sorry wrong button uh, we go to the app now and point yeah it says access point established so I have removed now like you can remove every device so here when you click on that you can delete uh, the left thing which looks like garbage you can delete I have deleted it so now I uh, put uh, I'll add it so it's a plus sign right top the blue thing and I say unfigured uh, unconfigured new device so okay and here at the button the, the, uh, there are two buttons it, one says next step and one says AP quick setup so we use the AP quick setup that's important the other one the other thing never worked really for me I know p some people are saying it worked for them but for me it never worked so now I can find the uh, yeah, I can find the device which is close to me, which I, uh, which is available with the AP, um, yeah, with the AP access point, uh, yeah, it, it has created the access point, so it's able to find, so I cl just click on that at the top, this device, and it says connecting device, I'm not even close to the router, I'm quite far away, it's, uh, almost 30 feet away from the router and now yeah the thing is now I have a lot of options to connect I have to tell the 
um, camera to which access um, to which access point or to which Wi-Fi router it has then to connect so the thing is now this is now really important new routers have usually four different Wi-Fi networks they have two 2.4 gigabyte networks and they have uh, two 5G networks so usually you have a guest 2.4 gigahertz and you have a guest 5 gigahertz and you have a normal 2.4 and they have a normal 5 gigahertz so the problem is it can't connect to a 5G network so we have only the two for the two 2.4 uh, gigahertz network available so and the thing is don't choose the guest network so the only only valid option is the the non guest 2.4 gigahertz thing which is here on top in my case because the second one is the guest one so and I'm telling you so I click on that hopefully that works don't know why it doesn't work at the moment doesn't accept my ah oh, no sorry I'm wrong yeah I just you you click on the network you need and then it puts it on top you see whatever I click it puts it on top okay uh, now I have the Gnet 2.4 G that's the right one non guest 2.4 and now I have to input the password hold on a second Okay, that's my router password and I have to push just push return I think I click on return no I have to push save on top yeah I think that's it so I pushed save wi -Fi connecting. it says Wi-Fi connecting yeah hopefully it will work takes a little bit of time it's not a bad sign if it takes a couple of seconds but usually it then yeah hope you were able to hear that it says it, it, she said uh, actually Wi-Fi connected yeah so that's good it takes again a couple of seconds you don't have to be worried about I don't know it's that long but now I can see my camera on top and now I can configure it hope it's still there it disappeared so I click on that, don't know what happens. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's another uh, problem. Uh, sometimes you have to refresh, I just pull it down. Sometimes it gets better. Or you have to wait, uh, reboot, or I don't know. Sometimes yeah it doesn't really fully work at the first time but I mean usually it works so I just try again it says LAN online usually after refreshing it should actually connect at least it did it last time so I don't know why it doesn't maybe we are really too far away yeah and now the app says it has stopped that of course happens to uh, video review but I did it a couple of times and usually it works if it doesn't work remove the camera again do it again so now you can see 
uh, it's here uh, it's, it's it's very slow we are far away from the router so you can see my hand a little bit waving so that's the test so I'm really here close to the camera and I stop it again and going back to the camera so I'm here again and you see camera is connected everything is working so maybe in my third I have already made two other videos about this and maybe I didn't clearly tell you what the problems are with the Wi-Fi the thing is actually the problem with the guest Wi-Fi is at least when it's in standard configuration you have a network isolation and network isolation means uh, con uh, different um, devices which are connected to the same router they cannot communicate with each, with each other you can configure that on your router of course you can tell that your guest Wi-Fi networks don't use network isolation then it will work but usually this is a thing which you don't want because when you have guests you want you don't want them to communicate with other devices in your household so you should this is my recommendation you should really use network isolation for guest Wi-Fi networks and for non guest Wi-Fi networks you should not use uh, network isolation so usually you can really set this up uh, no matter if you buy if you bought the router on your own or if you're using like uh, whatever frontier or um, whatever which provider uh, Verizon or um, yeah I can't remember or, or other uh, providers but usually even when you have just a rental uh, router you can log in and set this option so I guess a lot of people who were having had uh, yeah, were having problems with accessing the thing were either using uh, 5G um, Wi-Fi network which is not possible to connect because it's only uh, possible to connect with 2.4 gigahertz and or they used the network with, uh, which had network isolation and that's a problem then so you can't communicate between your mobile phone and your camera because they can't see each other so yeah um, these are two things you have to really consider and that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below, as always. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.